Well, here it is, my sports limo. Proof that style does not have to be slow. It is genius. This time, once and for all, I am going to win. I shall be victorious. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's a giant panda. <laughs> that that never a... before bred in captivity. That is a big panda. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is an economical limo. One liter engine, 40 to the gallon. It's, Can it's, we just, it's, do you mind? It's my sports limo, mate. The first thing I saw, obviously, was the spoiler. It's, it's proportional need, to the car. You need downforce steer then in this? No, but it's part of the image, and image is everything. Can I also it? say, you've yeah. no roof? I have. <clears throat> Was That's it. Well, it was complicated. That's it. There is a gap. There are tolerances here. <laughs> you can only work to so much. Then May turned up, and boy, were we in for a shock. Hang on. Uh... Now that that I didn't expect. I'm confused. Well, can I just explain? It's all about choice, okay? At the front, it's a sensible Swedish. Saab 9000, and at the front, it's a sporty and stylish Italian Alfa Romeo. What kind of paint thinner were you sniffing when you thought of this? That theme, style, sensibleness, Sweden, Italy, I've continued that on the inside, because at this end, it is a sauna. Does it work? No. And at the other end, are you ready? It is... <laughs> The Sistine Chapel. Can you drive it both ways? Yes. Really? That's Cars. the brilliant thing about it, because what is the problem with a limousine? What? Manoeuvrability. No, I'm fine on he that. He may have an issue. No, you haven't, <laughs> you see. <I> it's <laughs> very thin. Our first task was to test out each other's cars, and we began with the panda's 